Oh, my nerds, I simply cannot stand it another moment longer. I, I must film myself playing with expensive toys. Oh. Uh, it's been it's been a journey. It's been a long journey of updating all of this stuff. You know, I used to be over there and you would like look at the corner that I'm like now in and I've been like building stuff and buying things and just ugh, trying to get everything how I want it. New software and new, you know, mic booms and all this stuff. And it's just I, I, I was trying to edit the uh, the the Chelsea review video. I don't know if you saw it. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, but it was a nightmare. It was an absolute... It was a nightmare. Totally. Yeah, I, I, I learned through that that my computer is just crap. Or, well, the software I was using was crap. But I'd already started. I, I'd already gotten through and it was uh, halfway through. And I was like, I, I, I got to finish it now. But it's so painfully slow. Every cut, every goddamn little thing for it was just... Oh, it, it took forever. I might as well make a cup of coffee. It's all better now. I fixed everything. It's good. And I just I just wanted to I just wanted to make a video. You know, I just wanted to make a goddamn video. You know, I wanted to make the video that I was trying to make when I was trying to get all this stuff sorted out and I just I I, I messed it up. I messed it up. So we're gonna do that now. But before before holy shoot. Holy shoot. Nerds, 1,112 nerds and nerdettes hanging out here. That is that is amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's been, it's been all you. All you that keeps me, you know, doing this and wanting to do this. That That's it. It's your fault. It's your fault. <laughs> Funny story. So I didn't, I don't know if you really should know this or not, but. Yeah, fuck it. I'll, I'll tell you anyway. Uh, so me and my wife kind of have this like, it's kind of this cute thing where um, we, uh, anytime it's like 11, 11, you know, the time will be like, hey, baby, it's, it's 11, 11. Love you. It's kind of a thing with like 1111 or something like that, right? So as as it was creeping up, it was like, oh, you know, baby, look at this. I got 1,109 subscribers and 1,110 subscribers. And then I'm like getting really nervous. I'm like, am I going to be able to get the screenshot? I want to get the screenshot. I want to get the screenshot where it's 1,111 subscribers and send that to her and be like, look at that. Look at my love. Hmm? And, and, and it was last night, it was like 1,110, and then I woke up this morning, and then to my dismay, 1,112. Not that it's a bad thing, but I missed it, right? And I'm like, ah, oh, I missed it, it's 1,112. And she's like, just a second. And she unsubs herself from the channel. I refresh, goes down to 1,111, screenshots it, and then she subbed back up again. And now, here we are. So, yeah. Huh. <laughs> Funny. Okay. Well, yeah. Anyway, it's all your fault, and you guys are awesome. Love you. So with that being said, if you haven't subbed up, sub up. Let's do it. Do it right now. Hit the hit the sub button and hit the like button too, you know? Because um, if you like stuff, I like to know about it. it. It's good. I like to know about it. And also comment, you know? I like comments. I like all the comments. I like the good ones and, and, and the bad ones and the weird ones and the the ones in other languages because I get to go and use Google Translate and figure out what the fuck you're saying, which is great. Um, and then it makes me look so smart, right, when I reply. It's like, no, I just, I just Google Translated what you said. That's it. Anyway, so this new software, so cool. So check this out. We are going to be looking at one thick boy. So I can go now like this and I can kind of say, okay, now we want to look at, uh, you know, the fidget and now we look at my face. Now we look at the fidget. Now we look at my face and I can just like do this all live now. It's, it's, oh, it's freaking great. So this is the thick boy. I'm going to see how many times I can say thick boy during this entire review. This is, uh, this is the Ziggy. This is the Ziggy and this is the thing, the, the, the beautiful little, little thick thing that I failed to make an unboxing video with. I messed up the sound. It was just ruined. Uh, I'm not going to give you ruined, crappy footage. So I deleted all that, and uh, here we are. Here we are just doing a review. 
with me getting a little bit more time with it, right? So, oh man, this is from 2EDC. Uh, Samuel Roscoe. Kind of sounds like Sam Rockwell, the actor. Is that weird? I always think of Sam Rockwell when I think when I talk about Samuel Roscoe. Yeah, you're right. That's kind of weird. Anyway, so 2EDC. Uh, thank you, Samuel. Samuel right there. So what you get, so he always has this nice little envelope, a little stamp, and then you get some stickers. You always get the stickers. I've already put, I, I, got, I got a lot of stickers, right, from him. Well, I got a few at least. So I have already put one on my Pelican case. Uh, so that's there. But you get your little, your little COA. Certificate of authentic certificate of authentication. There. Yeah, and then you get a nice little bag too. You know, if you want to carry it around in that. I don't, but you might want to. Do what you want with your Ziggy. So when I was about to get it, the day I was about to get it, um, I asked Samuel. I said, "So, hey Samuel, um, where does where does Ziggy come from? Like, what's what's the name reference there? It's kind of a cool name." And he says, "Well, originally I designed a bigger one, and I called it Bowie, and then I designed a mini version, and I called it Ziggy." So yes. This is named after the David Bowie album, Ziggy Stardust. As far as I can tell, he was cryptic about it. I just kind of assumed. I was like, oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. David Bowie. I know all of his music. And I'm like there, like, like looking it up, being like, what albums does David Bowie have? And I'm like, oh, oh, oh Ziggy Stardust. Ziggy Stardust. Yes, I remember that. So obviously Samuel is a big uh, Bowie fan. And um, uh, we should, you know, focus on the other point that there's a bigger version of this. Like, holy sh shit. Because this thing is already thick. It's thick. It is. Well, I guess we should measure it. Let's weigh it first, okay? So it's in tungsten. So we are looking at heavy. 249, 244. Two just read it. Just read it, Zach. Just, just read it. 245 grams. There we go. So, um, I mean, I want to bring to the point that, you know, Samuel did lie to me. Um, he, uh, he was asking on the group, who thinks, uh, what do you, what do you think it weighs, you know, before anyone had gotten it? And I was like, you know, doing some math, you know, from titanium to, um, tungsten, which is usually four times. So the, the, the weight of a titanium spinner if it's then made in tungsten it's usually about four times the uh the weight so i i i was like it came out to like 248 and i was like ah, heck round it up you know 250 so then i asked him i was like how close did i get samuel did i did i get it right and he's like you got it right on and i was so happy and then it was 245 so i guess you have a heavier one Samuel, or maybe it's time to calibrate your scale. That's a whole other thing. Okay, so, oh, this thing, you wouldn't think that it throws like it does, but it do. It really do. It's got a, it's got some, some gyro, some gyro to it for sure. The thing is, is that the buttons, they, they really make it too quiet, okay? So repeat after me. Buttons, spinner buttons, are microphones for your bearings. Spinners, buttons, are microphones for your bearings, right? So what I mean by that is that the heavier the button, the more you get to hear your bearing. So they kind of like accentuate it, right? So I kind of I took these off, you know? A little heavy for me. No big deal. So without, without that... We're looking at, look at that, look at that, 149, almost 150 right in that sweet spot, that uh, that uh, Matt Ritter sort of sweet spot. If you don't know Matt Ritter, he's the he's guy that, that you know, developed and um, designed and got made the, uh, the Chelsea, uh, this one right here, the Chelsea, and he 
is a firm believer that uh, 150 grams is like a, a perfect weight, the weight, the weight to go by. So now that you have this at 150, you could add something like, or oh, possibly the buttons I had made for it before it even arrived by the, uh, the legendary Nick McKenty. So hot right now, Nick McKenty, uh, the button master. And, you know, you put, throw these on there. Throw these bad boys on there. And they weigh nothing, right? Basically nothing. So then you put that back on there and like, 156 whatever that's still that's still in the zone it's still great and then like shut the front door stop it oh spinner buttons are microphones for your bearings so the bearing sounds like that with the tungsten. It just it just can't get through. Too heavy, too dense. So you hear that with the Altum. Now just listen to it with a little bit of titanium. These are uh, crystallized titanium grips from NGT Hand Power. So now... It's just slightly quieter with a slightly more weight. Slightly more weight, see? Heavier, the quieter. And then it's almost got a different, more of like a, a lower kind of chirp to it. All right? Ugh, so good. So. And then these are the same. These are Altum, but they are the um, Amber, the Amber Altum. Or if you don't like Altum, you'd uh, call it piss plastic. That's what my wife calls it. She calls it piss plastic because she uh, thinks it looks like um, old plastic from like the 1950s that's just gotten old. And I think it looks like the beautiful Amber that they found uh, the mosquito in and brought the dinosaurs back uh, from in um, Jurassic Park. I'm going to go with that because it's a lot cooler. So I kind of landed. I landed on having these grips in there. I think it looks good. I think it sounds good. And I know for a fact Samuel's in on the black Altum as well. I know that he is like doing at the time of this video being filmed i think it is a friday right now i think it's a friday where am i um he is doing a pre-order right now for uh some big pose and also some buttons and some black altum buttons in some of the configurations so yeah that that that's where that's where i am with this thick boy there's another time i got to say it there we go speaking of thick i'm just gonna I, we should measure this damn thing right so Where's my calipers? My calipers, calipers, it's pronounced calipers. I like saying calipers. Okay, so thickness, which is the most important part. Ooh, do do. 14.75 mil, always in mil. And we'll do the, the width. Oh, I call that 31, maybe it's 30. No, it's like 30.5. Yeah, 30.8, 31, something like that. And then the length. Ooh, look at that. Now, this is pretty precise. You know, like calipers aren't the most, you know, well, these ones aren't like the most perfect expense, expensive, 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 precise calipers on the market. They're like 100 bucks, but, you know, you can get like star at ones or you can go up to crazy other, you know, levels of like, you know, measurement. But, the fact that this is even hitting like right on a 42 with like no points at all, sometimes. See what I mean? There we go. See, it did it. Uh, that means that like, you know, th this spin is actually made quite precisely. So. Yep. 
Yeah. So it's just it's just this compact little little nug. It's like a little nug, a little thick nug that you can carry around. Very discreet. I saw it when he was doing the pre-order for it, and I thought, oh, I gotta have that, especially since you're getting it in tungsten. It's just gonna I knew it was gonna be a good, like hand handable hand that's not a word. Um uh, good weight to handle. A good weight to handle, for sure. Yeah, look at him. Look at that little boy. That thick little boy, Ziggy. Ziggy boy. Mm mm mm. Uh, what was the other thing I wanted to? Oh, okay, so the other thing I was want to talk about is kind of like I don't know, kind of do with it, but I made like this discovery. I made this really cool discovery. So the grips that come with it, which are, to be fair, to be fair, amazing grips. Like the the dish in this, I love it. I absolutely love it. I I would want more like this, right? And the grips are. They're a great measurement, I think. Just come below 18 or something. No, 18.4. There you go, right? Because the body was, yeah, 14.7. So that gives it, yeah, you get about, you know, you're getting just like around that like kind of two mil, you know, on either side. Not quite. Sam's a big fan of that too, like the 1.5 mil clearance for your fingers on either side so having a thickness like that and having the buttons like that it's like they're very easy kinds of buttons to get other ones with like i had these ones made but i already had these and they work and i already had these and they work they're exactly the same as those but having buttons that are a 24.5 mil one very standard size the one inch and then that kind of thickness it means they work on a lot of other things, namely, and what I'm getting at here, bear with me, is a torque bar magnum, all right? So I have one. I have a torque bar magnum in copper, and just look at that. That is kind of a very big similarity. You see like where a lot of kind of the inspiration comes from in that, and then the other one that inspires something that looks similar is the companion the brass companion very tight to the body sort of spinner right this one's still so much smaller these are like 30 mil buttons it's crazy it's a big dish i'll review it sometime so what i found out i don't know why i don't know why it works this way so this has an operator bearing in it um you know the same one that uh this is the kind of bearing that would have shipped with this spinner uh, that Scott McCoskey uses and like Jonas Nix from Modus Works uses it. So I thought to myself, oh, you know, I'm trying to get some nice tungsten buttons for, you know, my torque bar. So I tried these on here and holy freaking Lord, I ended up using this thing more than I was using the Ziggy just because of the, like the way these fly on this damn thing it's got to be a combination of the bearing and the way i can like grip on it or something i don't know but it just feels so friggin' good it's 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 really it's a really good match it's a really good match if you're into that sacrilege of like swapping buttons and stuff like that i know you are you dirty little nerd i know you are yeah hardly anyone leaves the stock buttons on that's this weird like what are you doing right come on Let's swap it up. Buy new shoes. Whole closet. Anyway, that was a little side tangent because that's, um, yeah, that's good. I think those are staying there like that for sure. I think this is staying like this for now too. This is, this is, it's working for me. Mm, love it. So, uh, yeah, I think that's like kind of basically it. Um, oh, we could go and have a look at, Samuel's kind of dealio here. So I want to go and look at Samuel Samuel Roscoe. Oh, I got a freaking I got my keyboard. Uh and then you will know who it is to look at. So this is the guy right here. Look at him. That's Sam. That's Sam, there he is. 
that's him. Uh, and uh, yeah, he, he, he designed all these, and he's, he's just really good. He's really good at this stuff. So that's the guy. That's the designer. Um, and that's his, you know, Facebook. And then it is to EDC is his group. There we go. So you go to EDC right there. That's where you can like sign up for this kind of stuff. And yeah. Yeah. Oh, there it is. See, I actually probably going to go sign up for this like right after big po and button pre-order. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, yeah, it's going on for a few more days, but like, yeah, it's got all these like button configurations available. Um, yeah, I'm into it. I'm into it. Might have to get, might have to get a big Poe in bronze. Mainly because it's being machined by the legendary Nick McKenty. So yeah, that's, um, kind of all I like have for you. I think at this point, um, I'm, I, I don't want to, I don't want to like, you know, stretch this too much or, you know bore you or anything but hey you know what before i go uh look at all of the two edc spinners that i have and then gaze upon the glory put that one away so you don't confuse you so two edc two edc two edc two edc and two edc right so we got uh we got the big we got the big nest busting one of my faves. And then we got the Lil Nest or the, the, the OG Nest. He came first. So technically you can just call it the Nest. And then we got the Poe, the Lil Poe, OG Poe, something like that. And then you've got the OG Triangle. Coincidentally, all of my, all of my two EDC spinners are all in tungsten. I know it's pretty cool. Uh, but this has got to be one of my absolute favorites. It's the only try I have, and it it it, it just gets cooking harder than a uh, Pillsbury Pizza Pop. You know, I swear to God, it is it's amazing. I didn't like tries, but I like it so much that here I am just gushing about a try in a video that's um you know for the Ziggy. So I don't know if you you see these, you know, maybe like let me know in the comments which one you'd want to see a review for next right can't do this one we're in the review for that you did that already so you know one of these I haven't reviewed any of these yet so let me know you know what that's it okay bye <laughs>